Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've actually been watching a lot of YouTube recently, and I noticed the other creators have been posting like every single day. And I've definitely been neglecting my YouTube, and I wish I would have spent quarantine making more content, but I'm going to start doing that now, so you're gonna see a lot more videos from me. Um, and they're really going to be diverse. I'm gonna do whatever comes to my mind and whatever I feel like. So today's topic is inspired by people in my real life who I know personally. Um, they actually ask this question a lot. They always ask me, how do you deal with the hate? Um, so Dr. Zarago was in my Scrow Talks video, if you saw that, it hit a million views. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. I never expected that one to blow up so big. But he was like, yeah, I was reading the comments and like, how do you deal with that every day? He was like, I went to your other videos and I just saw what people write and I got mad for you. And um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you guys how I personally deal with hate comments or, you know, just like negative comments and then also with constructive criticism because, I mean, when people don't agree with you, it's not always bad. Sometimes it's good and you can learn from it. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to tell you how I personally deal with that. I'm in no way giving advice or anything like that. I mean, I'm just figuring it out myself. I'm new to YouTube and whatever, but... I think I deal with it pretty good most of the time, so let's just get right into it. So I think me being a sex worker and putting myself out there, as well as just like a general content creator, you're putting yourself out there, so you're going to get all different types of people from all different walks of life um, with all different opinions. and. When you put yourself out like that, out there like that, it's to be expected, but I think when you're a sex worker, it amplifies that. And last year, I had actually bought a condo and renovated it, and I had posted about that online. And it seemed like like a lot of people weren't happy for me. They were, they were like, that's dirty money, like you don't deserve it, basically. And I think those types of comments, those really come down to jealousy, you know? because a lot of people want to knock your hard work just because they haven't been able to do the same. And I think what they don't realize is like karma is very real. Like what you say and put out into the world comes back to you. If you're going to be happy for somebody, you're going to get that back. And then also just thinking positively, just thinking positively changes everything. When you stop focusing on what someone else has, and what you don't have, you're just so much happier. Um, so whenever I read things like that, I never... <laughs> For the, uh, for the most part, I mean, I'm not perfect. I just don't even respond, you know, because it's, it's just not worth my time. If someone's not happy for me, I'm just gonna let them be miserable by themselves and not give them the time of day. Now I say that I do that most of the time because I really try not to comment back to negative comments, but I'm human. And if I think of something that I think is really witty, I will write it back every once in a while, just for some fun, just to stir the pot. <laughs> So that actually brings me to my next my next um, thing that I kind of want to talk about is as a content creator, I'm constantly trying to switch it up. I do things that some people like and other people might not like, but that's what makes it fun and I like stirring the pot and now I, I've been so comfortable being online that it's like entertaining to read the mix of comments. Some people are like, I love this. And then other people are like, you're sick, you need help. And to me, it's just kind of entertaining because again, as a content creator, um, like no publicity is bad publicity basically. So, and the mixed opinions really get a conversation going because if you see everyone saying, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, then you're not gonna comment, I love it too. If you see there's like a mixed review, I think you're more likely to comment. So the more, more like polarizing I am online, I feel the more attraction it gets. And every comment, whether it's good or bad, um, boosts your engagement and your engagement if you get more likes or comments your video gets shown more on the discovery page so I really just <laughs> try to feel blessed for all the hateful ones because I'm like it's bumping up my engagement so that's fine with me you know 
So I mean, when I first started YouTube and even Instagram, I wouldn't even read the comments. But as time went on, I would encourage people to leave comments um, so, my, so that my video or photo would get better engagement. Um, and ever since doing that, I do read all the comments just because I think it'd be wrong if I was asking for comments and I didn't actually go through them. Um, but I actually do read all of them and the people who are really nice to me and comment on every single video and stuff, um, I tend to like follow back and just talk to, like sometimes, um, depends on the person. But like glittery fashion icon, watch, she'll be the first comment on here. She like is the first comment anywhere it's really cool but um but yeah so i try to give attention to people being positive because that's where i want my energy to go is into positivity um but actually like sometimes the haters um are your biggest helpers too because i see people um go on my YouTube and they write a bad comment on one video and they go to the rest of my videos but comments like negative comments but you can tell they watched like the full video because they like pick out specific things in each video so I mean they're not they don't like it but at least they're still watching it so I mean I'm still getting paid off those views <laughs> just I don't know I try to be unbothered I'm like none of this is real anyways like we're all just on a computer and for me um being polarizing on instagram was easy right because i just had to be sexy and then i don't know maybe say like something that i thought was witty every once in a while and i didn't have a youtube page so people didn't really know my personality so on on instagram it was easy and on instagram i was never worried like if people thought I was ugly and if people said I was ugly or anything like that because it's just looks and you know that that's my whole business and my business is doing well so I felt pretty confident in that aspect but when I started YouTube I was getting all these comments like your personality sucks like just stick to being a cam whore like comments like that and those were definitely more hard for me um, to adapt to because now you're just not attacking what I look like and who gives a shit, you know You're like attacking like my actual character and I'm like putting myself out there I felt like I was being more vulnerable and it just it, it like definitely hurt more at the beginning when people When people would be like you're not funny <laughs> And I'm, I'm like not the funniest person out there, but I'm just trying to get as much content out there as I can um just because I really like it, like editing the videos and I have fun and who doesn't like talking about themselves, let's be honest. So yeah, that was actually really hard at first. I, I have so many videos that I made at the beginning that I didn't put out, like more than I can even think of. I probably have like five unreleased videos that I never put out because I was like, I, I'm just like afraid to show like my full real personality. Um, because it gets shot down so quickly, but I honestly don't feel like that now and I do need to release my past videos, but I'm always just thinking of the next one. So like, YouTube is my business because it is monetized and everything, but when it comes to OnlyFans and I get criticism, um, I definitely like, I definitely try to address that and change what I can and look into what I'm doing and see what I could do differently. Um, and I really do take that to heart because OnlyFans is my baby. It's like my pride and joy and it changed my life and I feel so blessed how I live now um, because of OnlyFans and all of my fans on there who have supported me. So when I get constructive criticism on there, I try to address it. but then also there's just people who will never be happy. And you know, I try to like take constructive criticism on my site. So like, I actually started doing a bunch of duo scenes. So like, like working with other guys and it was more, I started getting like more hardcore, like doing blowjobs and handjobs and stuff like that. Um, more so on my site. And I actually had people reach out and they're like, hey, like I miss your 
old like dancing videos like can you dance more or can you do more muscle worship like I'm kind of sad that you're sucking so many dicks you know <laughs> so I actually I did listen to that and I try to put I didn't like stop doing as many duo scenes I'm probably doing more than I ever did now um, but the thing is I just try to mix in like so many different things because you have to cater to so many different people's tastes and on YouTube I don't give a shit <laughs> like whether people like something or not um, but on OnlyFans, I really fucking care. So, yeah, like, if someone gives me constructive criticism on YouTube, I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. But when it comes to my OnlyFans, like, I try to adapt because I do want everyone to be happy. And I just, like, I put a lot more time into my OnlyFans videos. And I don't think people notice because, like, I film everything myself. So I do different angles and it's, like... I put a lot of thought into it. I'm thinking about it all the time. Um, my OnlyFans, I always find it really comical when people sign up for $15 and before they receive like any content or anything, they just like write me like hate mail. So they just spend $15 because I don't respond on any other platform that I have. So they just pay $15 to like just tear me apart. But I'm like, Okay, like, I'll take your 15 bucks and you can write that, I guess, you know, so I just try to take everything with a grain of salt and I don't know, I'm, I feel really good about everything right now. I feel positive about life. I feel positive about my business. I think things with Corona are going to start looking up soon. Um, so yeah, I just want you guys to know that I'm really happy and... I appreciate you and I hope everybody's doing really well and enjoyed this video I don't know I didn't have anything written down I just rambled because I got a lot of hate on my video yesterday and I just I don't know people were like are you okay and I'm always okay and I just like the different skits and stuff I do I just I try things I just try to do different things all the time and I do want to be polarizing and I do I want to cater to different types of people and likes. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to this video. I'm gonna drop my Instagram and Twitter down in the description. And uh, maybe watch my Scrotox video after this one. I don't know. Might be kind of fun. <laughs>